So I rewounded just a quick situation just to look at we end up betting half pot. What our big plan is here on this turn with the flush. I think we should probably be checking this. Yeah, he's going to be checking back a lot, but he's going to be betting thinner than most opponents. So when we check, I feel like he's going to be betting a lot of like ace x type hands to get one straight against like queens with the queen of spades or something. Uh, so I think against him by checking, we actually gain a lot more value. Um, and maybe we get him to turn like a queen jack float into a, a bet. Uh, I think a check called actually against this player is a lot better than a bet there. Just because he's just going to run out of hands. Um, I mean, for 4 bet bluffing, he's going to have, when we 3 bet, he's going to be 4 bet bluffing uh, a decent portion of his rag aces. So now, and then his stronger aces, he's probably going to 4 bet call off. So now we're trying to hope that he's going to float us on this flop and on this turn. Um, do some sort of double float or move, but he's just running out of space too, because we can easily bet here and then shove the river. Uh, against different opponents, I would definitely like a bet here, but against him, uh, I think this is probably a check. And it's obviously tough because I'm be I can easily see the results of the hand, so it's like, well, of course you'd say that after you folded, but I don't really think that um, comes into play nearly as much as just looking at how often he can continue here. Um, compared to when we bet, compared to how much value we, get, we gain when we check. We fold pretty quickly in the bottom right. I agree, it's a really tough, it's a, it would be a real thin call, but I think we should probably have a, take a little more merit on that, in terms of the uh, pocket nines there. Um, the eight definitely seems like he is not going to be bluffing that uh, as much, um, and you would think he would be checking behind some of his diamonds that are worse, any diamond that worse than ours. Like, I don't think he's shoving worse. Um, we get eights in with how the match is going. I think that's fine against nines. Uh, we check behind. I'm fine with the check behind on the flop just because it, his range is going to be so wide to continue and we don't have really much equity. Um, once he does do that, I think once we hit on the ace, it looks a lot like we check behind with an ace and then bet it. So it's unfortunate, but it goes along with like the the thought that yeah, sometimes you just have to have your hand be face up to your opponent in order to gain credit for other times you might want to bluff that, etc. And we call with king queen offsuit here. Uh, we're playing really really fast. I'm not sure if that's how often how Marshall plays normally in terms of heads up action, but it seems pretty fast. Um, I don't see a point of a bet here. Uh, it could get us check raised off uh, our hand, and I don't think he's check folding very much on this board that we're not already beating with king queen high. Uh, with the king here, he's gonna, I would assume, bet. Uh, hmm. I think it is a different call and kind of fan like an ace high type hand. Um, I could see the thought behind a raise here just because you're like well if he, if he doesn't have a king or if he has a worse king he'll probably go with it or stack off but I think there's just gonna be a lot of times where he, he uh, eh, let me think about that for a second. Uh, okay I've been thinking about it. I just like a raise only because it doesn't look like we can really be bluffing that often, meaning that we don't expect, with how the match has been going, him to 3-bet and then check-fold this flop very often at all. So under that assumption, we assume he has some sort of showdown value, and we'd assume if he has a pair higher than the board, he's going to bet it fairly a decent amount of the time, or if he's got a king, we obviously are losing a ace king now, but that shouldn't play a huge role in our decision um, because it's obviously only uh, one type of hand we beat, like king 10, king jack, whatnot. Um, but I think the lower you go down with those kings, like king 7, king 8, whatnot, he's more likely to just be betting him. Um, 
in that sense, he's more likely to be betting them rather than checking and trying to like get to showdown with those weaker kings. So I don't think we're really extracting from much. From we're extracting from a really thin value range here, and we're not letting him bluff if he does have a. Uh, th even though we think his bluff range is thinner, and um, we can't really like feign a bluff ourselves uh, too well, just because we shouldn't expect him to be folding a lot. Uh, the only option where I think this is good is if we thought there was a really high chance we'd induce the three bet bluff, and if that's the case, I think we should be flatting here.